two chefs. Like, he's a movie star, he's not really a chef. He's a wannabe chef instead of an undersecretary. Two soldiers. Yeah! There's nothing like having ringers in the kitchen. And one very special ingredient. Lots of love. We got a lot of love in here. <laughs> no, eggs. It's the Undersecretary of the Army's culinary cook-off with celebrity chef Robert Irvine. This morning I asked uh, world-renowned chef Robert Irvine to come join us at the Army dining, uh, Executive Dining Facility to talk to us about the value of nutrition and how that supports us from a readiness standpoint. I came here to win. <laughs> I was challenged by the Undersecretary of the Army to a frittata contest and I forgot or maybe he forgot that I'm a chef. Are you ready? This is the go signal, right? So we're going to do a short count, three, two, one, and then I'm going to be the judge. So I don't know how it's going to turn out, Robert. You stand a chance, but not much. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Let's go, here we go. Okay. Tata is an open face oh, oven, basically. It's nice mixed really into a, a bowl with all the ingredients, and then we place it into an oven-proof container, and we bake it. Secretary is definitely going to come out on top. We put in a lot of work, and uh, the Under Secretary is going to win. Not on our team. You don't get this in 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 a lifetime. It's one one opportunity. Where do you go to get a cook off with the Secretary of the Army alongside Chef Robert Irvine? That's two celebrity right there. We having fun, sir. Watch. <laughs> Food is an integral part of life, and I want the military to change the food like it's changing technology. And we can do it. We, meaning the industry and the military, with all their resources, can change that. How we eat is so important, and to be educated on the subject from someone who is the best in the world at what they do helps us kind of put our thoughts together as we approach the day. We're asking our soldiers to do lots of work under extreme pressure. So we want to make sure they're eating well, nutritious foods that gives energy to the body so they can do that job. And if we use plenty of vegetables, you know, I'm not asking you to be a rabbit, but be smart with the choices that you pick. Nutrition is the key to resiliency. This isn't just a special instance of hard work, you know, 92 goals around the clock always work very hard so I mean, hopefully we can add up to what it needs to be to complete a win. Change your life, isn't it? It's good stuff. <laughs> little bland, little bland for me. Need some seasoning. Concept, concept is good. The plating, we need to teach the undersecretary how to plate. I think it's really good. I could get my own TV show with that type of review, couldn't I? Three, two, one, stop! We finish in time. So we beat uh, Chef Robert Irvine in the cook-off with our Fit to Win frittata. Definite win, definite win, no doubt. No doubt, tell me all the way. Hot off the press, judges results. No, 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 I can't let you do that. No, no, no. So judges scored 168 to 153 in favor of the undersecretary. Of course, the undersecretary wins. Why wouldn't I have known that? He didn't cook anything, and he won. Go Army, beat Navy. Sergeant Major Army is going to have fun with this one. <laughs> fix, fix. He did his best, and he lost, uh, but uh, it was great. Our folks, such as Campbell and Special Fleet, did an outstanding job. I won this morning when I walked into the Pentagon and so all these folks in uniform. My job, as I said, is to make sure I support the mission. 
And today, we supported the mission. And that's it. You know, we had a lot of fun, and uh, we learned a lot. Had some great, great food. It's nice, nice to do. All right, go Navy. So how do we get started? How do you want to, what do you mean, go Navy? I didn't say anything. You're on the clock. I didn't say anything. Go Navy. Go Navy. Dude. Yeah.